Hello and welcome to TechSlice. Today I'll be showing you how to install OpenZeus Leap 42.2. So let's get started. So as we go into the OpenZeus installer and click installation, I'd just like to say that this video is now in 1080p 60 frames a second and TechSize will be recording like that probably for a while or we might be going over to 4K. See what happens. But as we can see when we click installation it does go to um, terminal basically and gives you a few prompts there, nothing to worry about. And then loads up a green bar down the bottom. Um, which once that loads, then we'll be able to boot into the installer and I'll show you how to install it from there. Okay, so now you can see it's booting into the installer and just go and initialize him. Um, and that should just take a short bit and then we'll get into all the installation settings. Okay, so it's popped up with the license agreement. If you want, most people don't, but you can just have a scroll through this. It's actually quite a short one, but, um, and you can also select from here, you can select your language and keyboard layout and do a short little keyboard test. So we'll click next. Um, and we'll just do a bit of a system check um, before getting to some more settings. So it comes up with a few installation options. Um, you don't really need to check these boxes, um, which I won't, but if you want some of those. Now it comes up with suggested partitioning. Um, so you can come in and edit a few things. You can create your own partition, but usually the suggested things say if you're doing a clean install, it would be perfectly fine for um, my use and your use. Okay, so now it's also asked for clock and time zone. So for me, it, my time zone is Sydney, so you can click on that. If the time and date's right down here, you then click next, or you can go into other settings and do that. Now here's where usually a bit of research can be done to customize. So you get the choice between KDE, um, Plasma Desktop, GNOME or Server which is basically terminal or even you can you can do other, I'm not sure about that but so you can if you do a little research I also have up the difference between KDE and GNOME which then you can sort of select which one you want to do um, however, through Terminal Line you can change this later, so it's no huge deal if you pick the wrong one now. You can come back and change it. Let's just go with KD, and then it'll ask you to create user. You can skip it, but um, we can just come in here and do it. Put in password. And once you've just filled out all your information, for your login, just click next, um, and then it will give you basically confirmation of what you're going to do. So it gives you booting options, software, um, firewall, all of that, which if it's all correct, you can click install. And it will do another confirmation, um, which with the partitions, Partitions will be wiped, so um, it's just warning you that that's going to happen and all that. So, if you're sure about all that, you can click install. If you want, you can go back, and then it will bring us to this screen. Now, it's basically down the bottom, it's just got what it's doing, what percentage, and it's got a slideshow, a few things. You can have a look at the details of what's exactly doing that point in time and also the release notes about the latest version um, which you can scroll through. Well we're just going to leave it on slideshow and 
and we'll do a little time lapse of of this installing. It depends on your computer if you've got an SSD and you're installing off a fast storage device like USB 3.0 drive, it would take less. If you've got a hard drive, it would take obviously more, etc. So, let's do the time. Okay, so the installation has done and well has finished and now it's just saying the system will reboot. So we'll click OK and basically now it just do a reboot and then it'll come up in here, we just press enter to make that go a little faster. And then yeah, so it's rebooting and then it'll head straight to open this leap. Um 42.2 um, where it should log in automatically and you can see the um, KDE desktop. Okay so now after a quick reboot um, OpenSUSE Leap 42.2 has now booted into the desktop and you can see the KDE desktop. Um, once again I just pop up the GNOME desktop just so you can see the difference. Um, so yeah, now it's all installed, um, I'd recommend though going in and, um, has got quite, like, quite a few updates to do, so go and do that, you'll be most protected, and yeah, so, that's how to, um, install OpenZeus Leap 42.2. So guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.